Uh, tonight is a really exciting night for us because of this uh, wonderful group, uh, Kenny Loomer and, and his big band. Uh, it's the second in our series of the Jazz at the Straz. Now, many of you know, but let me tell you, Jazz at the Straz is our effort to bring more education uh, to our young, young folks in the community and educate them about jazz so that this fantastic art form continues on. So part of what you all have uh, paid your for your tickets tonight goes to help uh, others educate. Uh, uh, these folks, uh, many of them educate as well as, uh, as uh, our, many of our students to learn about this fine art form. So we have a couple more that are coming along. Uh, March 5th, we have the tribute to Lena, Lena Horn. I hope you have your tickets for that. If not, you can come grab them. And then uh, the Jazz at the Trast Straz finale side-by-side -side concert. This very band and our ensembles from the Patel Center will all be a part of that. Um, it's good. Those are going to be exciting nights. We also have December 10th, all of the Patel uh, students, all of the ensembles uh, related to jazz doing a concert. So you might want to take a look at that too. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic series. Thank you to all of these folks who are, who are giving their time and efforts uh, to us tonight for, for fun and also for the future of education. Uh, if you don't mind, look in your pocket, turn off that cell phone, turn off anything that's going to make noise because we want to hear this fantastic band. Kenny Loomer. Here he is, the man of the hour, and his band. Thank you all. And I should say, the bar is open throughout this evening, so feel free to get up and grab a drink. All right, thank you very much for those announcements. And to get things started, I want to let you know that this is a roaring big band, and this is set up sort of like a nightclub. So you're actually right on top of the band, so you'll be able to hear every note, no doubt about it. And since I'm a drummer, I'm going to start things off by doing something from the library of the great Buddy Rich Big Man. And this was one of his most famous numbers that he did, entitled Big Swing Face. And as you know, Buddy was one dynamic drummer, but his band was absolutely awesome. So uh, I have some incredible soloists to feature all night long. And to start things off, on piano, I'm going to have the one and only Mr. Ben Winkler on piano. Yeah! And on lead tenor sax, we'll have Austin Vickery. And we're going to teach you the entire sax section on this. So here we go with Big Swing Face. All right. Thank you. 
I think these guys are definitely ready to swing. No doubt about it. Whoa! What a sound. If you could turn me up just a little bit more. All right. Beautiful. At this time, I'd like to do a classic from Mr. George Gershwin. This one's entitled Summertime. And this is a brand new arrangement, which I just got, uh, written by Mr. Brad Marley. And in this uh, particular arrangement, we're going to feature my lead trombone player from the University of Northern Florida, Mr. Rob Harrover. So here we go with a classic of George Gershwin, Summertime.
Yeah. On the rocks. <laughs> and that was summertime, and that was our debut of this new chart, and these guys played magnificent. Very nice, gentlemen. Whoa. At this time, I'd like to do something from the library of the great Woody Herman. And this one's entitled, Things Ain't What They Used To Be. And this was composed by Mercer Ellington, who was the son of Duke Ellington. And uh, this is one of his biggest hits. And Woody Herman decided to have a great arrangement of this great tune that Mercer wrote. And I'm going to be featured by two great lead tenor players on this. First, we have Mr. Tim Eddy from St. Petersburg, and Mr. Austin Vickery. And on soprano sax, I'm going to feature uh, one of my old college professors. When I went to college, I actually have one of my teachers on the band right here, Mr. Jim Burge. Yeah, I like to keep my teachers employed, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we go with uh, Willie Herman's Things Ain't What They Used To Be.
Okay, at this time I like to uh, change uh, rhythms a little bit. And I like to do an arrangement of Mercy, Mercy by the great Phil Wilson. Now, Phil Wilson was a uh, trombone player who got a start with the great Woody Herman band. And uh, this particular arrangement uh, he did for Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich heard this tune and uh, he got a hold of Phil. He said, hey, Phil, I, I need to have an arrangement of uh, Mercy, Mercy. Could you do it? And, uh, and one day. And uh, Phil said, uh, I don't know if I can do it in one day. And Buddy says, do it in one day. So, <laughs> no, and Buddy, he did it in one day. And this was one of his biggest hits that Buddy had. As a matter of fact, it was the name of his album that he recorded at Caesar's Palace. And this particular arrangement, uh, we're going to feature the one and only Mr. Austin Vickery on lead tenor on this. So here we go with the rockin' Mercy Mercy. How y'all doing? You doing okay? Oh, great. Yeah. I'm doing okay, just to let you know. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
mercy, mercy. Whoa. These guys are really rocking on that one. And at this time, we're going to do something from the library of the great Count Basie Orchestra. And this one's entitled Wind Machine. And uh, there's no doubt that these guys got a lot of wind power up here. No doubt about it. And this particular number that Count Basie used to do, he used to feature many members of the band because this is what you call a flag waver. That means things are going to really be moving. This is a mover. So we're going to test the uh, reading ability of these guys on this one. And I'm going to have four excellent, unbelievable solos on this. First, we're going to have my lead trumpet player who has worked with many of the greats of jazz, including Lionel Hampton, uh, Don Benza, uh, the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra, my best friend over here, Mr. David Howe. Lead trombone will feature our uh, Rob Harover and playing jazz trumpet. We have Tom Carpenter. Lead tenor, we have Mr. Austin Vickery. And to get things started, Mr. Ben Winkler on the piano. Yeah! So here we go with Tom Basie's Wind Machine.
Thank you very much. And uh, you're not going to hear too many bands playing that number at that tempo. I want to tell you, these guys are unbelievable. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I think you all look very tired. So uh, I think I better slow things down for you. You look tired after that one. At this time, we'd like to do a fabulous ballad, My One and Only Love, a brand new arrangement uh, I got from my, my trombone player over here, Mr. George McLean, who knows this particular arranger, Mr. Don Shambler. And this one will feature this incredible musician I know over here, Mr. Tom Powder. This guy is just something else, and I'm going to definitely make him work on this number. So here we go with the great new arrangement by Don Chandler of My One and Only Love. Ready, Tom? Yeah, he's ready. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, right. One bar.
to uh, one of the originals of this band. This particular arrangement was done by uh, Doug Beach, a great arranger from New York. And since I'm a drummer, uh, he titled this Got Rhythm. You know, if a drummer don't got no rhythm, man, he's out of business, I'm gonna tell you. So, but this entire band's got rhythm, man. That's why I hired every single one of these guys, because they got the great feel for this music. And this particular arrangement, we're gonna feature uh, Four outstanding soloists. First, we have uh, an alto saxophone, Mr. Joe Longgardner. Yeah. <laughs> and on lead trombone, we have Mr. Rob Harover. <laughs> and of course, you know this gentleman over here, Mr. Tom Powder. <laughs> and next, we have a good friend of mine. It's one, someone who really helped promote jazz in the Tampa Bay area. I don't know if you've ever been to the Jazz Cellar, but I happen to have the owner of the Jazz Cellar and the owner of Paragon Music, who's supplying the sound for this particular concert, Mr. Dick Ramore. Yeah! A Tampa Bay legend. Yes, sir. Re. <laughs> And this is a brand new chart. Like I said, it's an original written for the band, and we're gonna get things going with it Got Rhythm. And I'm not gonna forget that we have Austin, Austin Vickery will be playing lead tenor on this too. Yeah. I don't know how I remember all these names. <laughs> Alright, here we go guys. Two bars. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
not easy to play, I want to tell you. These, <laughs> these guys are reading. Whoa. Beautiful. Like I said, that was another original chart for the band. Brand new. And at this time, I like to do another jazz classic, Just in Time. And I'm going to feature on this one Mr. Ben Winkler on piano, a graduate of the University of South Florida, right? The main feature of this one would be uh, a very good friend of mine, and really he's the one that actually had the idea of putting this together, this jazz at the Straz, Mr. Tom Ziegelhofer. Yay! Yeah! Yeah, Tom! Can you believe it? This is our second time here. I didn't know Mom was here tonight. <laughs> hey, yeah! As you may know, Tom uh, used to be uh, a principal before he retired, and he told me he's so happy playing music and dealing with all the stuff that you have to do when you have to run an entire school. And he ran uh, Blake High School, so uh, this guy had a big responsibility. <laughs> teaching the youth of America, and he's still teaching. He teaches right here at the Vitalik Conservatory, and I'm gonna let him go to work now with uh, Just In Time, featuring Tom Ziegelhofer and Ben Winkler. You got the music there, Tom? I don't need it. You don't need it? <laughs> you know how to read? No. no. <laughs> F-cap is not my uh, favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got to read this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just in time.
this time uh, we're going to do our last number before we take a break. And this man has been really roaring. What do you think of these guys so far? Huh? And this is the rarity, you know, you hear a lot of jazz bands, but to put together a big band like this is extremely rare, and as you know, these guys got a lot of music to read. I make these guys work, no doubt about it. And this one is a, uh, we're going to do the Porgy and Bess Suite, of course, a George Gershwin classic, and this is an arrangement by Keith Bishop, who teaches over at the University of Colorado. And in this particular suite, we're going to be featuring these numbers. I love you, Porgy. I got plenty of nothing. Bess, you is my woman. It ain't necessarily so. And there's a boat to leave it. And we're going to feature some great, great players on this, including Mr. Austin Victory on Lee Tanner. Yeah. And we're going to feature Mr. I'm really on bass trombone, Mr. David Hope. Yeah, big bass trombone. Feature. And also uh, Jim Burge and Mr. Ben Wrinkler. And here we go.
CDs of the big band out in the lobby. So thank you for this concert and we have more music coming up. 15 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> 